is, is a great insult to the men and women who serve in law enforcement. And I want everyone to know who puts on the uniform of law enforcement every day that President Trump and I stand with you. And it is remarkable that, that when Senator Tim Scott tried to pass a police reform bill, brought together a group of Republicans and Democrats, Senator Harris, you got up and walked out of the room. And then you filibustered Senator Tim Scott's bill on the Senate floor that would have provided new accountability, new repeat resources. Look, we don't have to choose between supporting law enforcement, proving public safety, and supporting our African-American neighbors you, and President. all of our minorities. Under President Trump's leadership, you, we will always Pence. stand with law enforcement and we'll do what we've done Vice from President day Pence, one. And thank you. Your time is the up. lives of African-Americans. Thank you, Vice Record President Record unemployment. Pence. Record Vice investments President, in education and will fight for school choice for all of our members. Thank you, Vice President. I'd like to respond. Senator Harris. I will not sit here and be lectured by the Vice President on what it means to enforce the laws of our country. I am the only one on this stage who has personally prosecuted everything from child sexual assault to homicide. I'm the only one on this stage who has prosecuted the big banks for taking advantage of America's homeowners. I'm the only one on this stage who prosecuted for profit colleges for taking advantage of our veterans. And the reality of this is that we are talking about an election in 27 days, where last week the President of the United States took a debate stage in front of 70 million Americans and refused to condemn white supremacists. Not true. And Not true. it wasn't like he didn't have a chance. He didn't do it, and then he doubled down. And then he said, when pressed, stand back, stand by. And this is a part of a pattern of Donald Trump's. You, he